can't help but become concerned that you said this is this is just the beginning. We're on the first layer, right? right. Because I, it, it makes me afraid because, you know, maybe this is a narrative, maybe it's not true. Who knows? Right now, who knows? But it seems like the doomsday clock is mm -hmm. ticking. You know, we're, 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 we're flirting with Pandora's box. We're, right, right. we're on, on the verge of maybe a climate change disaster. We're on the verge of tensions between nations. And for me to think that maybe it's inside the process of, of our transition to a, to a better collective through individuality, as, as, as you say, maybe it's part of it, but I don't want it to be. I, I feel like we have enough leverage through our ideas, such as yours, that we can just step backwards and think, is this the right course of action? So do you, do you feel the same way? Do you feel that even though we're in this first process of, of first level, the time like is not in our favor? I think, I think it's, um, I mean, there's definitely time pressure for sure, right? I mean, that's, that's part of why I, I started the whole thing as well. Uh, being, uh, as I said earlier, I was also in, involved in energy resource limits. Yeah. And for the past 10 years, also climate change. So these are these are the two two big ones. Uh, it's like the rock and the hard place, and they're converging on us. And the um, the, the sort of like the techno te te techno optimist thing is is that the hope if we speed up the ship, we can like sail between them, right? I mean, mm -hmm. think of it as Titanic and two icebergs that are slowly moving together, right? And we are going here. And it's like oh no, full speed ahead, and we might just squeeze through in time. I mean, I think I think that's the techno techno approach. Uh, whereas I would say from 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 the Renaissance and the ERE perspective, it's also like, well, let's let's go to the to to the aft deck and build some lifeboats here, and we realize we might not be able to like save you know all eight billion of humanity, but at least we can get enough ideas out there that we can somehow squeeze squeeze through. I mean, we're not. Um, it's 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 gonna be. And this goes back to the, the sort of like the individual survivor thing versus the community where the individual survivor does not tend to, to last that long in nature. I mean, I, as far as I remember when the, they did all these like American pioneers back in the you know, 15th and 16th century where you go into the backwoods with your musket, the, the average life expectancy for someone who did that was about one year. Wow. Yeah, that's that's like blew my mind. I don't know if it's true, but that kind of makes sense, you know. If you look at these uh, like um, survivor shows on TV, you know, like Alone in the you know Alaska or whatever, most of them will will break down. I mean, yeah. some takes like three hours, other takes like three months. There are very few who can actually last that long without you know impressive supplies. Um, on on the other hand, uh, this is one of my pet pet peeves is uh, where, where, where people, they see the problem, you know, they have this world centric mm -hmm. uh, view. Uh, and so because they are so world centric, they want to be inclusive of, of, of everybody. So let's get together and talk and talk and talk and agree on things. And the typical result of that is that they agree to maybe agree, but nothing happens. And yeah, you see this love. on a, you see this on like a huge scale with uh, with the the climate the Paris, like the Paris climate agreement right it took what 40 years i mean scientifically not very much has changed in the past 40 years you can look at the old papers from the chani report from from seven, 1979 right that's like what 50 40 years ago right 42 years ago um and if you read that, like something like climate sensitivity was like three degrees back then. It's also three degrees now. All that has happened is like we've thrown vast amounts of computational resources on it and sort of reduced the uncertainties. I mean, we're more certain about the ranges now. We can say, well, this is definitely going to happen. Whereas before it was like, well, there's a range and we can do this or we can do that. But it's, it's really like narrowing down. Um, so... Um, in individual, we can't do much more than save ourselves. And collectively, we seem to be stuck in this like broken discussion club. Mm -hmm. And so we need somehow for these two to, to, to come together, mm -hmm. which in some sense, I think it means that we need 
since we already have a lot of, I mean, the, the, the sort of like this discussion club is an established system, you know, if, if you're really into that, then you become like a community leader, an activist, a politician. But in terms of individuals trying to, to, to pull these things together, you know, but also at a practical level, not just at a, at a political level, yeah. they're, not a, they're, they're not enough of us doing that yet. Um, no and so you always need to uh, uh, there's, there's another like if, if, if you've done any any sailing there's a standard like rule it's like one one hand for for the ship and one hand for yourself and then that that was meant when when people you know climbed up into the into the masts you were not expected to use both hands for the sail because you might fall off and kill yourself that was just too much to ask so you're always allowed to have you know like one hand holding on to the ship that's for yourself and then the other one doing the work yeah that's i think this is this kind of like a double hedged approach that is probably the wisest thing to do currently just in yeah. case it fails right but that does not mean that one should retract in you know into the wilderness and just say like you know like screw it i'm, I'm just you know i'm done with it i mean it's super tempting right but we should always try yeah. right so no definitely and it's a I'm going to adopt that metaphor, you know, having a eye on the prize while having an eye on the steering wheel.